there's no oh, oh one other thing I want to do on on BC five. I spoke with the the public defender, and he would appreciate if he would appreciate if assistant public defenders were not included onto the committee, uh, which I think is a loss. But he is the public defender; those are his employees, so I you know he makes the rules as he deems um, necessary. So with that being said, what I'd like to do is entertain a motion to pass the last two individuals that applied to be on the CIP, which would include Mr. Doug Mayer for District 1 and then Ms. Trenise Bryant for District 5. So is there a motion in accordance I'll with move that? It. Probably move it. And second it, that we approve uh, BC 5 as stated on the record. And sorry, Chair, just for my own uh, clarification. So then Doug Mayer will be the District 1 appointee and Trenise Bryant will be the District 5 appointee. That's correct. Understood. All in favor say aye. Aye. All against, the motion carries. So uh, at this point, uh, we've come to the end of our agenda. We're going up for a attorney-client session. See you upstairs. Yes, the statement needs to be read into the record before. Mr. Chairman. So we have, excuse me. Excuse me, I have another, another uh, discussion item, which is I'm going to be very, very brief. You see, uh, as all, uh, all of us that watch the news, uh, we are concerned with the bright line, with the train that goes so fast, and uh, we're going to get that train coming into our city also. And uh, I uh, asked the, uh, the people from Brightline that they, they should start uh, a public awareness program that this train go faster than any other train. Don't try to beat them. And I think, <laughs> and I think that uh, we are... Uh, um, um, uh, as a public service, we uh, should ask the, uh, that, uh, the communications department that, uh, to disperse some of the educational material that they're going to use, trying to uh, educate the public that they're